Falco. And I believe that they are just going to get right into it. All right. Yep, coming right into it on small battlefield. The, the John Classic, absolutely. So we're going to see Steelix already starting things off with one of our favorite cutscene combos. Trying to use the Reflector, I really like the idea to dissuade. Uh, obviously, we know John Numbers for that offstage play. And even when in disadvantage, oh, oh, okay. Didn't realize he lost his jump there, but... Steelix really giving things away. This is a, a sale, I guess. Yeah. Steelix did a great job at the beginning of the stock, racking up that early percent. Very nicely done with the, you know, confirm with the combos, but... Once you give John a lead, he's not gonna let he's not gonna let up. <laughs> no, John has no mercy within him and <laughs> unless you're helper, I think. But other than that, you know, no homie stocks to be given and instead you're taking a wee fit there at the ledge. Isn't that jump to find his way back on stage? He looks kinda shaking his head a little bit, like, you know, you gotta get your head back in the game against John numbers. Yeah, this could snowball super quickly if you let just John rack up this percent and have two stocks to play with. John's going to start getting a little creative on stage Ooh. now. <laughs> yeah, and especially with the weave on the, the hula hoops, definitely one of John's greatest strengths in these sorts of matchups is that offstage play and how he can so quickly turn a situation into a reversal before you even know it. All right, that's going to be a back throw. Now setting uh, Steelix up at the ledge. Kind of the spacey conundrum has always been the uh, recovery aspect of things. But a great anti-air up smash from Steelix. Finally putting himself on the board. But 55% and a whole other stock to get through. Definitely no small feat, especially against John Numbers. 100%. And I wanted to kind of mention this at the start of the match, but uh, things have just snowballed so quickly. But I feel, you know, maybe... Whenever you have a character that has a really solid reflector and you can sort of nullify the sucker ball, you can nullify the uh, salute the sun, um, it gets a little tricky for the Wii Fit, right? But it seems like John is very well versed in this matchup. Obviously, getting to play with the likes of Tilde coming through, uh, one of the best Falcos mm. in the world. <laughs> and just John just plays different. I mean, I, come on. I love Wii Fit's crawl. It's yeah. so funny. And it goes under Falco lasers. Steelix, though. Yeah, Steelix is bringing them this back a little bit. Potentially going to be looking at even stocks soon, but a back throw at ledge might be taking it. And the downer to react to the Phantasm, that's the goofy option, but it that works. Was, yeah, that was very strange. I mean, we fit down air is active for a year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Falco just kind of runs his face into it. So unfortunate for Steelix, especially with that uh, that SD at the beginning of, at yeah. the beginning of this game. I feel like game two is definitely going to be a, a very different as far as, you know, if, if yep, Steelix is gone. Yeah, Steelix just unfortunately SD'd there. But Steelix was really starting to bring things back at the end of that game. So let's see where Steelix would go from there. He used his double jump immediately. That's what happened oh, there. Oh, right, right. Getting IDJ, but running things right back to small battlefield. I absolutely agree with this from Steelix because, I mean, he was definitely starting to get some momentum there back in game one. So why fix what isn't broken, especially if you're just not going to SD? There comes that reflector, already punishing one of the uh, blatant salute the suns, but Steelix yep. really doing a good job of landing some extra damage once he gets his, you know, once he lands either that nair, the up tilt, or gets a grab, he's going to make you pay. Yep, and that is a frame one reflector as well. Ooh, oh, back off! Who said, the you're favor. The king? Who said you're a king of the ledge? <laughs> <laughs> Look at, I'm the captain now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Steelix oh. now had a stock lead, but John with the soccer ball snipe bring things right back into even and almost kind of daring Steelix back off stage saying, oh, I won't reversal you. It'll be fun. Ooh, anti-air up tilt, but kind of asleep at the wheel for the neutral air coming right back oh, wow. down. <laughs> Just as we thought the Reflector was going to play a bit more in this matchup, what does John do? Just crouch. That soccer ball's not going to hit me. I'm just going to crouch if you reflect the back of me. Oh, yeah. John <laughs> Numbers is like the soccer ball scientist. Like, <laughs> he knows the counterplay to the counterplay, and then, like, layers and layers below that. It's, it's soccer balls all the way down, and it's John all the way down as well. But we're going to see only getting these soft down air is Steelix still keeping things extremely competitive. 
Yeah, these offstage sequences are super interesting. I mean, it's really oh, no. hard. Oh, no, John's being in the back. Yeah, it, it's just so crazy. Weefit can do so many mix-up with her recovery. That and was that was such a good fade back from yeah. John to avoid the uh, the F smash. There Steelix expecting the cross up, but a forward air gonna be putting Steelix in a stock lead once again. Yeah, great reaction to the air dodge there by Steelix, calling you know going for the fair straight away and getting the stock. And now the question is, can you rack up some extra percent? Uh, and the, the answer, answer is, is no. <laughs> no. Survey says. <laughs> Survey says, tomate este pelota de fútbol. <laughs> and Falco uh -oh. trying to go for something there. Deep breathing combos. Deep breathing. 112%. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, uh -oh. my God. Oh, no. The tech. What a tech. That was beautiful. Steelix is saying, listen, I'm not, I'm not out yet. I'm there? not scared. You think I'm scared of you? Oh, beautiful. Steelix absolutely not out of things just yet. John does have the sun salutation. Shoots it the wrong way, though. Good the tech again. Tech, a tech for tech. <gasps> Good fare there by Steelix. Trying to keep John at bay, but oh, okay. So dangerous going out while John Numbers has deep breathing, but Steelix showing us he has no fear right now. That's Gets it? the up tilt into back air. Oh, not going to be yeah. taking it so across much rage. the stage just yet, though. Look out for down tilt. Feel like it's coming. Ooh. Down tilt could be coming from from both characters, yeah, true, to be honest. True. Dang. Definitely Steelix oh. is going to try to go for some options to get this game out. Oh, back throw. Back throw. Ooh, okay, okay. DI's eyes away from the laser. Another tech! Oh, but Steelix was ready for it. Steelix with the reaction time of of that, that was just wild. Yeah. Of a professional table tennis player. Uh, I mean, that reaction speed was insane. A professional space pilot. Yeah. <laughs> well, job well done to Steelix. And as we, as we saw, you know, the first game, the tail of the tape was just those SDs. And then Steelix now just being able to go tick for tack against John Numbers, which is really impressive. Absolutely. That's, that's the secret to beating John Numbers. Just don't SD. Yeah, don't it's, SD. It is simply that easy. And don't get dared at 30. Don't get dared. <laughs> With deep breathing on. <laughs> there, there's actually a lot you shouldn't get hit by against yeah, John true, Numbers. Yeah, true, true, You shouldn't get hit by anything while the scary mannequin is glowing red. Yes. Very good back throw there by John. And okay. th this was the tale of the last game. Just both players at the ledge trying to end one of each other's stocks. And... Back air almost connecting. Yeah, this is this is just crazy. Yeah, and I mean, this is definitely something we do not see a lot, which is someone who can really contest yeah. John at the ledge. We saw like reversal after reversal, and it's it's usually just numbers who has that nice. sort of card. But Steelix very clearly seasoned in this particular type of matchup. These lasers are connecting every time Steelix is throwing them out. Great parry there by Steelix. And one thing that is to note of uh, Falco's recovery or just Falco's jump in general is he has one of the highest initial jumps in the game. Oh, and he absolutely. Could, and he could utilize that by going pretty deep off stage. And if he just has one jump, he could typically make it back. Um, but yeah, this this first stock is just, okay, well, salute the sun. I think Steelix, I think Steelix might have wanted to run a Oh, no. no. You got schmixed by your own accord. That's Sometimes you said it was that easy, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just that simply. It's that easy. Yeah, simply. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Devin, that do is dirty like that. Huh? It's all good. It's all good. I, I'll take it back. Falco's jump is ass. Don't go off stage, please. Just stay on stage. Numbers is Professor Hex. He's yeah, just, for it's sure. just in your head, bro. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh, uh, uh. what the? So did, did, I, did Steelix take the first hit and then got hit by the soccer ball and got, got hit? stage spikes? Oh no! John really making me eat my words. Like, oh, <laughs> you think there is someone alive who can contest me off stage? Tech this one and then. A, oh no! Yeah, no, not even a tech, just stage, stage spikes. Spike, yeah. So he got spiked into the ball. So mm -hmm. he was probably oh wrong button. He was ready to. Uh, 
He's probably ready to try and like uh, like tech the spike, like if he was able to like di into his stage, but then yeah. got hit by the ball, and then it's just like, where's your timing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, Funny. speaking of timing, we are moving very quickly through this bracket. And since, you know, we got some time in between the... Oh, wait, I think the players are stepping up to the stage soon, but before, yeah, it's a before they get started, come join us every Wednesday here at Zeno, uh, 21 Ludlow Street, 